Well, don't worry, you're in good hands. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, don't worry, by the end of the day, we're going to be completely cast, and there is nothing to worry about. Okay, uh, could you hold on for a quick sec? Roger! Yo. What are you doing? Texting my boyfriend about eating pizza. Well, is that what you're supposed to be doing? God, I hope so. No, it isn't. I asked you to set up the table and chairs and see if anybody has came by yet. They're here. What do you mean they're here? They're not supposed to be here for another half hour. You said when? I said we get here at 1. Actors at 1.30. Mmm, yeah, that makes more sense. Guess what? The chocolates went up to a miscommunication. Good thing for us to work on in the future, you know? Well, I assure you, by the end of the day, we're going to be completely cast, and this year's production of Romeo and Juliet is going to be the best yet. Okay, I'll let you know once we have our two leads. Roger! What? Set up the chairs. We have actors waiting outside. You have to go. Gosh, okay. So tired. Like, what's the big deal? The big deal is that Avery Stern, artistic director of the Red Barn Theater, legend in the Hoxie Theater community, has entrusted me to enlist the two leads for this year's production of Romeo and Juliet. And God help me, Roger, if your laziness and stupid phone mess this up for me. Alright, first of all, the Red Barn Theater is no way legendary. It is one of the three theaters in Hoxie, and it is by far the worst. Second, Avery Stern and Crazy Pants and definitely not legendary. Third, the Red Bar Theater has done a production play of Romeo and Juliet for the past seven years. It's the same. It's actor proof. As long as you find two or more decent actors, you should be fine. And finally, this is not a stupid phone. It is a smart phone. It could literally get you waking up in the morning, while brushing your teeth, out while playing so don't feel smart. Just bring in the first actor, will you? Radio. All right, well, this is Melissa. Good pace. Nice and casual. No. I'm going for the handshake. Hi, I'm Melissa McNall. Thank you for seeing me. All right, that was a little forceful, but keep it going, okay? okay. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm Melissa's acting coach. I'm just here for moral support, though. I won't bother you or, like, interrupt you or anything like that. No, don't worry about that. Well, normally I prefer to see the actor alone, but... Okay, I guess I can allow it. No, you don't worry. Look, you won't even know that I am here. <laughs> you are right. Okay, um, did you prepare a monologue or a scene? Uh, I prepared a monologue. I memorized it last week. Good. Yes, we love good self-compliments. It was a little braggy, but I don't think they noticed. <laughs> okay, um, well, whenever you're ready. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. All right, Melissa, sweetie, we went over this a million times, okay? Look, don't rush. Don't wait. Don't wait. Right? You guys will wait. Start over again. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Yes, we love it like that. Keep it up. Great intensity. Deny thy father and refuse thy name! Projection, Melissa. Deny thy father and refuse thy name! I am missing your consonants. Deny, deny! Deny thy father and refuse thy name! There we go! Okay, um, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I feel like I'm not getting a good read with Melissa. Oh yeah, no, no. Don't worry, no, don't worry. She's just nervous, yeah. I mean, I'm not getting a good read with you interrupting her. Uh huh, well, I can scale back to my notes if you like. I think you better leave. Very well, just as they say, at the house of a director. So I'll leave it in your hands. All right, Melissa, sweet. I'm going to be outside if you need me for anything, okay? And remember, voice, eye contact, and objectives. Yeah, okay, I'll remember. All right, remember, hit the end of every word. Yes, I will. Good girl, come on. Kill him dead. Okay, uh, should we start this again from the top? Absolutely. And um, if I could just give one note.
Forget about your acting coach for now. Just try to be yourself and have fun. Uh, what do you mean? Don't worry about your voice and don't worry about getting every word perfect. Just read the scene the way Melissa would, okay? Okay. Hello. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Okay, I told everyone, no phones. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, it's just... Okay, okay, I'm ready now! Melissa, was that your acting coach sending you a text message? Oh, no, it was, uh, it was, uh, my doctor. Sorry. Doctor! Doctor! Sorry, I didn't mean doctor. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, okay, thank you. I mean, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> what was up with the coach? You know, sometimes people just, you know, they need a little push. You know what I'm saying? They try to do it by themselves. I mean, I guess so. Oh, uh, thank you so much for coming in. Joe and Mama, and I got this history, the thing I picked up outside of the lines. The audition scene? Yeah, am I gonna be reading that? Uh, yeah. Great, cause I saw when I said Juliet, and I'm like, not nah, this guy, I ain't no Juliet. Of course not, so you're gonna be reading with Roger. Wait, you're gonna be reading a lady's part? Oh my god, that is so stupid. <laughs> Did you just read the site? Alright, hold on, hold on, give me a second buddy, cause right now, I'm like, shot, you got no idea. Just Star Wars says, my sweet. You got it, sir. Romeo? My sweet! What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of 9.59, okay? I will not fail tis, and I shall stay right here, and uh, I'm gonna forget any other home but this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. What? Why? I just feel like maybe we're going down the wrong road. Yeah, and? It's just you playing this scene with a lot of anger. Yeah, and is that a problem? It's just I'm not so sure Romeo is that angry in this scene. Well, this is this is the balcony scene. This is where Romeo declares his love for Juliet. This is supposed to be sweet and passionate. Yeah, this is sweet and passionate. Like I'm just like I'm so in love. Like like oh, like let's do some push ups. <laughs> okay, well um, thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, no problem. And um. I must have just you looking at therapy. Therapy? Not this guy. Not this guy. <laughs> what? What was that about? Uh, I don't know, man. He probably has some stuff going on at home. You know, he has to let it out sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, let's just wait for the next chapter, I guess. Yeah. Shouldn't be too old. Oh, um, thank you so much for coming in. Thank me, you. I mean you. Thank you. Um, did you prepare a monologue or a scene? Monotone. Monotone. What's a monotone? Did you mean a monologue? I guess. Oh, okay then. Great. But soft will lie through the window there. Romeo, I love you. We should... Kiss. That's all I got. I'm sorry, was it supposed to be a monologue? Yeah. That's it, right? No, it isn't, and you know that. Look, the lines are really long, but if you cast me, I'll memorize them. The other ones and stuff. Will you? Yeah, I think I would. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, well, thank you so much for coming by. So I'm gonna be in it? I'm the main girl? We'll let you know. Exit that way. <laughs> this is been awful. It's gotta be better, right? I don't know. Jesus, Roger, will you just pretend to care? No. <laughs>
Pacha, I don't even know why I got you this job in the first place. Oh. Uh, 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 hi, Marie McConville, thank you so much for seeing me. Uh, thank you for coming in. Um, Any questions? No, no. Okay, so will you be doing a monologue or a scene? Um, 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 a monologue? If that's, if that's okay with you? Um, works for me, whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Oh, if thou wilt be but sworn, my love. Okay, um, great work so far. Uh, I want you to keep going, but I want to give one minor adjustment. Okay. Your hands in your pockets, it's a little distracting. It is? Yeah, uh, it just makes you seem really stiff. Sorry, I just never know what to do with my hands. I feel like they could be a little distracting. Well, uh, try not to worry about it, you know, just relax. Do what you would normally do with your hands. Normally? Yeah, give it a shot. So just continue where you left off. Hint but thy name, thy is my enemy. Thou art thyself, thou not a Montague. What's a Montague? Okay, um, what is that? What is what? Your hands. Why are you swinging your arms around and clapping? I told you. I never know what to do with my hands, so I thought, well, this is what I do when I talk about boys, so I'll just do that. It is. Yeah? What do you do? Not that. Look, I don't know anybody who does that in real life, except for maybe an insane person, so why don't you just try something else? Like what? I'm telling you, I always struggle with my hands. Don't worry. No, put your hands in your pockets and don't swing your arms wildly. Just try something else, something natural. Okay? <laughs> Okay, well, that was different. I just thought it was natural, you know? Because she's in love. Yep, got it. So, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> Guess someone was nervous. This probably was their first time to... Wow, nice costume. Garments that you have surmised have no mood nor color to them. They're neither cheerful nor melancholy, as doubts proclaim. Oh, what does she say? I think what we have here is a method actor. She stays in character all the time. Alas, an actor of the sage, I cannot claim to be. Character, you may find, at least meek and feeble bonds. I don't care. Look, if you want to be in this play, you have to do a monologue or a scene. Do you have either prepared? I must protest once more. For that speech and manner of dress is. Most vexing, and as such, my ears do find me most intolerable. Fine. Would thou, kind squire, read us the scene or long-winded passage that thou um, can be in thus play? But I have told you, Anon, an actor I am not. I am Romeo of the House of Montague, a man of many talents, but a performer I am not. This isn't helping, Romeo. You have to do a monologue or scene or you will not be cast, okay? Hmm. Very well then, my hand is played. I shall read your words. Perhaps with a partner. I fear alone I'm astray from lofty expectations. Oh, okay, a scene then. Great. You'll be reading with Roger. He'll be your Juliet. This, before mine eyes, is Juliet. Uh, what's going on? My beloved Juliet, what have thou done to thyself? That hair is short and coarse. That face is rough and withered, and that smell of <coughs> feet horse. I don't smell like a horse, man. That's bigger like a harlot of Devonshire. Okay, look, I'm glad you're so committed to this, but this isn't helping you get the part. This is a fallacy that has taken my beloved Juliet and turned her thrice into a beast, a wretched, an odorous fiend. Can you stop making fun of the way I smell? A pox has been cast onto thine house. Farewell, my love. I shall return for you once thou hast cleaned thyself of such putrid <coughs> smells. <sighs> I mean, I, I 
We smell fine. I have no nose. <laughs> what a jerk. Do I really smell? No. Do you, do you have ears? Or no? I'm just saying. I already said you don't smell. Then... Oh, hello. Are you? <laughs> Is this a method actor too? No, I don't know what she's doing. Excuse me, miss? Miss, are you okay? Would you like to do a monologue or a... We have sides of you. What the hell was that? You should forget that happened. Hey, look, that was either the worst audition I've seen or the best. We should really consider her. Shut up, Roger. Like, I'm serious. That <laughs> kind of blew my mind, you know? <sighs> I'm gonna f Oh, hi. Hi. Mac Carson, how are you? I was really late for my mom rehearsal. Do you mind if I take a quick minute to warm up? No, um, although we do have other people coming in. Of course, I only take a minute. I just have a hard time auditioning unless I'm like completely centered. Okay, but well, if you want, we could bring someone in. Thank you, but no, thank you. It'll only take a minute. <sighs> okay. So, can I go to the bathroom real quick? Oh! Oh! Well, she says she'd just be a minute, so. Uh... Oh my god, what is she doing? I think she's having a seizure. Roger, call the ambulance. I'm ready to begin now. Okay, well, that was quiet. I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to begin now. Oh, I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to begin now. We begin now. <laughs> okay, Meg, we really need to get started. We need to get started? Yes, we are running behind. We're running behind? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with you. I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with you. I am serious. I'm serious. Stop this at once. Stop this at once. Yeah, that's understandable, but we're really starting to run behind. Of course, I just... Uh, <laughs> is this the theater in which the play is going to be performed in? Yes. Oh my... Oh, your acoustics are terrible. Your high seas are going to bounce around the building, and the consonants are getting down up by these shoddy curtains. Oh, call me when the correct preparations are made. <laughs> They are really starting to get on my nerves right now. I mean, we should probably take her offers, you know? Like, the sound system in here kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. All you do is move chairs. Why'd you be quiet? I'm just, just saying, man. Mm -hmm. I still... Absolutely not. We want 5% where he's walking. He's walking. He's walking. And merch. That's a deal. You got it. We are not Charles wants his own dressing room, 10% of the door, on top of his usual salary, and give us that group of total rehearsals. Chocolate covered Skittles. Are you sure? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Chocolate covered Skittles, or I walk. I'm afraid this is not negotiable. I'm, I'm sorry, this is a community theater. We don't, we're not paying anybody, let alone giving anyone a cut of the box office. That's ridiculous. Give us a minute. Think about this. I won't. Like, I won't back down on this. I, mean, I think you're overthinking this. Like, nope. Mm-mm. Like, mm -mm. I'm sure like, we can just like, get our... Skittles or I walk. Okay. Skittles or I walk. Okay. Okay, got it. Charles is willing to 
um, worked for 5% of the box office and topped his usual salary, but Skittles must be at in his, in his dressing room at every performance of rehearsal. It's a must. It's part of my process. And sir, have you ever worked in a community theater before? There is no money. We're walking. I We're walking. Come on. Just FYI, I once dated this girl and her dad hated me. So I kind of feel for this Romeo guy. Yeah, Charles has some real good insight on his character. Real good. This is crap. You just made a big mistake. Charles Feingold is going to own this town. Own this town. Bitch. <laughs> Are you laughing or not? No. I'm sorry. Roger, I'm gonna fight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Roger, you are this close to being fired right now. I swear to God. Just, Just shut down your mouth. Just relax. Just relax. Hi, I'm Josh. Uh, thank you. Uh, did you get a copy of the sides? Yep. Um, are we gonna be starting off at Romeo, my suite? Uh, yep. Whenever you're ready. Romeo? My sweet, hold on a sec. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> okay, uh, let's stop right there. Why does Romeo have a backpack? Well, doesn't everyone have a backpack? No, they don't. Well then, where am I supposed to put my water bottle then? She's not supposed to have one in Victorian England then. Were you driving a car? Oh, yeah, wait. Is this like a modern version of Romeo and Juliet? Like the open and the car in it? No, this is period appropriate. There are no cars and no backpacks. So, what you're saying is, I should ride it on a horse. No, God, don't ride it on anything. You're really panamining up a storm here and it's distracting. Really? Extremely. So why don't you just try reading the lines? Okay, so there are no no swords, no horses, no nunchucks. No, God, from the top, no miming. Get off of this table. Yes, sir. Sorry. <coughs> Romeo. My sweet. What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? My dear, three days and no! Anyways, by the hour of nine. Okay, I think I've seen enough, thank you. Can you tell us putting out a gun? Yup, got it. Because in the decoffee version, everyone had a gun. But the guns were actually called swords. You know what? That actually might be a good idea for the production. Yeah, that sounds great for the late 1500s. All right, well, thanks so much, sir. <laughs> Roger, help me fix this table. Uh, I do not get paid enough for this. Just wait for the next actress to come by. Oh, I should be. Whatever, man. Okay, no, what is this? Uh, excuse me? Why are you dressed in a unitard? Uh, how else do you expect me to do my modern dance audition? I don't. I expect you to do either a monologue or a scene. Oh, I see. The best and a modern dance routine. The best modern dance routine you've ever seen won't suffice. No. <sighs> well, I'd like to do a monologue then. Okay, great. Okay, are you really going to do a monologue or are you going to do some crazy modern dance piece? Uh, if I say a monologue, then do my modern dance piece, are you going to get mad? I have had a long day today. All the actors that I have seen are borderline psychotic and stupid. If I have to see a modern dance piece, I might just lose it. So either do a monologue or get out! <sighs> okay, thank you for your time.
This has been tiring. Should we take a five minute break before sending in the next group? Uh, that's it. <laughs> what do you mean that's it? We only saw like 10 actors. Was it only 10? God, it seemed like so much more. But I was supposed to start rehearsals next week. I was supposed to cast this. Well, there's no one else according to my list. Let me see that. <laughs> hey, so my boyfriend's outside, so can I head out a little early? No. Well, we got a pizza date. I don't give a damn about your pizza date. You are not going anywhere until we cast the thing. I'm calling Harry, you know? Well, can I at least text him to come in while I'm stuck here? Just... Uh... Avery, I need more audition days. Yeah, well, you only signed up for like 10 actors and, well, they were all crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him the green light because you're dealing with some stuff and I'm bored. Oh, Roger. <laughs> Avery, no, no, okay, don't say I'm being prejudiced. I'm not being prejudiced. Okay, look, they range from incompetent to insane. One of the actors didn't even read the lines. She just pretended to be a cat. Yeah, uh -huh. I know that these two roles are not. No, I am not being a perfectionist, believe me. If I saw two people who could read their lines freely and have even a faint sense of chemistry, I would hire them on the... Roger, I mean, Avery, I gotta call you back. Emmy, Roger, go over there, would you? What? Just do me a favor, okay? <laughs> Can you two just read those lines for me? Well, uh, I'm not an actor. Yeah, I haven't been in a play since middle school. Okay, Roger, look. You read these lines better than anyone else here, and well, you two obviously have chemistry. Can you just... Do this, please. You, you want to give it a try? Sure. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Romeo. My sweet. What o'clock shall I send to thee? Good, by, very good, keep going. By the hour of nine, doth thou agree? I need to know, will thou meet me at the hour of nine? I will not fail. I forgot why I did call thee back. No, no, okay, okay, stop. Why are you swinging your arms up? Why do you have a gun? Well, let me stand here till thou remember it. Oh, look, more Capulets. I shall smite them with thy launches of rockets. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Good night, pew, good night. Pew, Parting is such sweet, pew, sweet pew, sorrow. Pew, pew. <laughs> Quick, they are coming after us even stronger. In the car, we must make our escape post haste. Step on it! Yeah. Yeah.